Don't think you're getting away with it because you're not. You're not getting away with it at all. Tonight, a grandmother's message to anyone who may know what happened to her grandson, Jalen Griffin, three and a half years ago after the boy went missing, three and a half years that is, after he went missing. Police recovered his body from a South Buffalo home Monday, just days before his 16th birthday. Good evening once again. Jalen's grandmother telling us tonight she feels a sense, a small sense of relief, knowing that her grandson's body has been found, but has now turned her attention to the person responsible for her death. And Crime Stoppers now offering $7,500 to anyone with information that leads to an arrest. If you're unfamiliar with this case, Jalen's family last saw him alive on August 4th, 2020. He lived near the Central Terminal in Buffalo and told his family he was walking to a store on Broadway. But he on never returned. Yeah, and on Friday morning last week, police say his body was found inside a home on Sheffield Avenue in South Buffalo. And tonight, 7 News senior reporter Maki Becker sitting down with Jalen's family and law enforcement about these really difficult last few days and what comes next. We begin with the voice of his grandmother, who says she's always believed answers about Jalen would come to light. The Lord works in mysterious ways. And I've always believed, you know, we didn't know where he was for three and a half years but I knew it would come to light. Shirley Banks finally has an answer to the question, what happened to her grandson, Jalen Griffin? He was 12 years old when he disappeared in August 2020, last seen walking from his home near the Central Terminal to a store on Broadway. On Monday, police announced his body was found in South Buffalo. And Shirley Banks tells me she's relieved, but she's seeking many more answers. For him to be on uh, Sheffield, they said that's in South Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, off of South Park Avenue. Somebody had to take him there because there's no way he could have walked there. He don't know nobody over there. So how did he get there? Somebody took him over there. And why they would kill a kid is beyond me. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia tells me finding Jalen's body opens a new phase in the investigation, now considered a homicide case. Everything is on the table now. Now we have something. We were here as crime scene technicians and investigators returned to the scene. Now we talked to a lot of neighbors here on Sheffield. No one wanted to go on camera, but all of them talked about suspicious activity here at this house at 107 Sheffield. Now one of them talked specifically about that top window in the attic, which is where police said the body was found. And he said that for many, many months, the window was open. Take a look at this image from Google Maps taken in July 2022. You can see the windows propped open but no one suspected a child's body was up in that attic. Now both police and Jalen's grandma are asking anyone with information to come forward. We're asking again, if anybody has any information, please call the homicide squad. Please make a phone call, please talk to us. It doesn't matter how small you think something is, let us be the judge. What goes around comes around. You know, you reap what you sow. So whoever did this, don't think you're getting away with it, because you're not. You're not getting away with it at all. You're going to pay for what you've done. Shirley Banks told me she is grateful for the police and all the volunteers, including Karima Morris of Bury the Violence, who searched for Jalen over these years. She has one wish for those who knew him. Remember him as a child, as he was, you know? He was a good kid. He didn't do no bad stuff. So I just want them to remember his smile and remember some of the good times that you had with him because that's going to always be with me. Maki Becker, 7 News, Buffalo. Jalen's family has organized a memorial vigil for the community to come and remember him. That is set for Monday on what would have been his 16th birthday. It begins at 6 p.m. at Paderewski Circle on Memorial Drive in Buffalo.